Today we're going to talk about how easy it is to get images into your website. Now CSS Hero has built an integration with Unsplash to make it super easy to just click background image, add image, and all of a sudden we've got all these images at our fingertips. We can search for whatever we want, or if we're just interested in browsing, we can just keep clicking next. Um, it's super easy to do. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go back up to the top here. We're going to put an image right here in this section. So click background and then add image. And then I'm actually going to go back to the beginning page. And I'm going to choose this guy. And then when I click apply image, you can see that uh, she's in the right place. I can see her eyes, but then I can't see much of her face. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some padding. Come down here and I'm going to add padding top. Now if, if this bar ever gets to the right side, that'll be the max will be 100, but you can very easily just change the number and CSS here knows exactly what you're trying to do. So there we go, we've got that all set. You can also move her around if you want. Um, that's in this background position area. So if you find a background that you really like, but you want to, uh, to change it up a little bit, uh, that'll work as well, and you can um, you can also choose different back the way that the, the background is displayed. Whether you want it to just fit the width or fit the height, um, don't choose that one because it stretches out your images, uh, unless you have a reason to do that, of course. Um, but it's just it's just so easy. It's just so easy to get going. Now take a look down here. We have different sections of images right here. There's that guy, and there's that, and there's this. Now if we click on this. Um, we can see the code editor has chosen panel dash image. So if we change this one, then it will also change this to be the same because this is also panel dash image and then this one as well. So instead of doing that, I'm just going to do something like this. I'm going to right click and I'm going to click only this. And then when I go to background and I click add image, now when I click on an image here and I click apply image, it will change for just this one. Now I need to make sure for this one that I've chosen make important. Sometimes you will have uh, your website, depending on the theme you use, might prevent you from changing a specific background image, but that's why they include this. As you click make important, it knows, hey, this is really important. You want to push this to the top of the list. And then now we've changed the image without messing up these other ones. We can come down here, right click and choose only this. And then how about for this one, let's choose, uh, let's, let's search for something business related. And I'm going to choose this top-down computer shot. Again, I, ch I chose large, but nothing seemed to happen, even though you could see it writing in the code here. So come up here and then choose Make Important. And there we go. Now, uh, one thing that I want you to realize is that the different qualities of the images you can choose. If you choose extra small, you can see how pixelated it is. Now, extra large and large are, are fairly similar. And for, uh, for the purposes of trying to get your, your site to load fast, I would suggest using large if you're going to have a full screen image like this. But essentially what you want to do is click through them and start noticing, hey, when can I you know, when do I not notice the quality of the image? So right here, obviously, it's bad, right? And as we keep going up and up, here's medium, and here's large. And this looks crisp to me. That looks great. So, uh, so essentially, what I want you to understand is that it's very, very, very easy for you to to just click on something and just add a background image in a second using this Unsplash integration. It goes on forever and you can search for anything you want. So when you're getting started with your website, take a look at this feature. It's a super neat and super easy to use feature. And we'll see you in the next video.